Hello and welcome to the first ever Westfield Starfires podcast. We're going to be interviewing players and coaches all summer long and getting an inside look at the team in their inaugural season. It is Tuesday, May 28th. We are three days away from the Starfires home opener, which is coming up Friday night at 6.30 right here in Westfield. My name is Matt Satilli. I am joined alongside Starfires pitching coach Pat Strange. Pat pitched with the Mets from 2002 to 2003 and at Springfield Central High School. You were named Massachusetts Gatorade Player of the Year for two years. You were the only player in the state's history to be named that award multiple years. And I want to thank you for coming on. Pat, appreciate your time. Pat, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, Pat, you're a Western Mass native, and you serve as the pitching coach for Westfield High School, where your son Brian plays, and now you're joining the Starfires for their inaugural season. So what does this expansion mean and this new era of Westfield baseball mean both to the town and to you personally? Um, I know it. It's a, a great accomplishment for the town. I know it's huge for Westfield baseball. Um, grow, I, I grew up in Springfield, but uh, it, uh, Westfield was always known as a baseball town. And uh, it's been long overdue for them to have something like this come to Westfield. I know the, the local people are proud, and hopefully we can do them proud with the team. Absolutely. And uh, your relationship with the head coach, Bill Cedillo, he is also Western Mass native. I uh, was just wondering what kind of role he had in recruiting you to the pitching staff and uh, how you were able to join the team this season. Yeah, uh, my older brother, along with my cousin Todd Easold, who's a part of the staff, um, they grew up uh, playing together. They're, they're, they're in the same era in uh, Western Mass baseball. Uh, they had some experiences together in professional baseball as well, the three of them. And uh, they had been lifelong friends. And uh, when Billy I got the job, uh, uh, shortly after I received a call from him to see if there would be uh, any interest there, and although I do have uh, some some things on my plate this summer, uh, it was definitely an opportunity I couldn't turn down. Absolutely. Uh, more than glad to have you on the team, too. Looking forward to some ex exciting stuff from the pitching staff. Uh, speaking of, yesterday, we had our first official team practice over at Westfield State. I uh, was just wondering what you've seen from your pitching staff so far, kind of expectations or hopes going in from the summer, and how you're looking forward to meeting the guys on the team. Yeah, it's uh, more of a meet and greet right now. Uh, I got to see some uh, limited bullpens from a few guys, and uh, from what I saw, I liked what I saw. Uh, seems like a, a bunch of good, young, positive kids that are here to uh, learn and get better, and that's all you can hope for as a coach is that you have some coachable kids who are, who are interested in hearing what you have to say and interested in learning the game. Um, Talent-wise and, and otherwise, we'll see what we get as we go along, but I like what I see so far. Absolutely, and this is obviously a chance for these guys to improve and get some playing experience while they're not at school. What is your biggest goal for your players this summer? Obviously, it's a chance for them to improve their craft, but also try to have some fun and get some good playing experience along the way. Um, my biggest goal for them is to meet whatever goals they have. I'm here to try to help and guide them with whatever they feel they need the most improvement on. Um, I'm here for them to help mechanical, you know, try to keep them safe, try to, try to keep them out of harm's way by making sure the mechanics are, are clean and, and uh, what they need them to be and trying to stay within the guidelines that their, their, their coaches have set for them. Very awesome. Um, so your professional career after 2004, you had elbow surgery and your career was cut short, unfortunately. In an era where a lot of guys are being overused and where you're seeing guys now younger and younger having to go through Tommy John surgery, what are some lessons and just some kind of things that you have banked on experience that you try to relay to your players and hopefully try to, like you said, keep them in the best health possible? Yeah, well, I mean, as I said, you know, there's a lot of things mechanically you can do with especially young pitchers to try, try to get them on the right track. Uh, by the time these kids have gotten into college, um, their college playing careers, they've been throwing a certain way for a long time, and sometimes it's hard to break habits, but basically just trying to keep their mechanics clean, I think... Uh, the game has provided these kids with uh, a lot more technology, rubber band exercises, weight training that uh, frankly wasn't around when I was playing and they had a lot more advantage, but it's also probably the most unnatural thing in sports is, is, is the, the way the arm mo motion works in pitching. So um, it's, an, it, it's naturally a dangerous game, even if your mechanics are clean to try to stay healthy out there. So we'll do the best we can to try to keep their mechanics clean. Hopefully they, they stay uh, busting their tails, working hard on their, their exercises and keep them, themselves in shape. Absolutely. And uh, you said you were drafted right out of high school. You pretty much made your way up through the Mets farm system pretty gradually, eventually making it there uh, during the September call-up in 2002. Um, during your professional playing experience, you know, 
what kind of lessons did you get from your coaches or your mentors, whether it be in high school or in the professional ranks, and how are you going to try to help apply that to your players? Yeah, I mean, I, I had a, my older brother was a was a professional ball player too, so I grew up watching him. So I had a, a great example just in my own household uh, to strive for. I had a lot of different pitching coaches. I had a lot of uh, mechanical gurus and just some old old school guys that that helped a lot, a lot of different ways. Um, I was a, a stubborn kid back in those days when I was drafted, so uh, it took a while for me to, to to learn. I wish I had paid more attention and worked harder and learned more from those guys early on. Um, but just being being a part of the game, having the experiences I have, I have a lot of knowledge and information to offer the kids, and uh, hopefully I can do a, a good job relaying that info to them. And uh, just curious, you played with a handful of really talented guys, one of them being Mike Piazza. I'm curious if he ever caught for you, or what kind of a one-off experience have you had with a player, or maybe it was someone you looked up to growing up, and something that may have shaped your playing career that you still carry with you today? Um, yeah, I, I, I did throw to Mike. Um, he was my first catcher in the big leagues. Um, him and uh, Vance Wilson were the two catchers when I was there. Mike was uh, uh, obviously one of, one of the greatest hitting catchers of all time. Um, I enjoyed throwing to him. He, he was a true pro. Uh, I, a lot of the guys I played with were, were true veteran professionals in a big organization like the Mets, so it's not a lot of young guys out there. It's a lot of uh, veteran contracts, veteran players. So. Um, you don't get a, a lot of opportunity to fail up there, and you also you got to learn quick. And you know, to, to to be a part of the team, you know, you kind of got to keep your mouth shut and just learn from those veteran guys. So, it was a lot of examples to take in. I think one of the biggest and best pieces of advice that I got uh, was I can't even remember who gave it to me, but um, they basically said to work as hard as you can and and uh, keep a uniform on yourself, no matter what it takes to get yourself into a uniform to keep playing. Uh, to have that passion for the game and just want to keep playing. Keep a uniform on your back to play as long as you can. And I can tell you now that, that it, there's not a day that goes by that I wish I couldn't still play the game. I, even now, 15 years after being on Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl, I like to jump in and throw a Tri-County game here and there just to get that old feeling back for a day. Awesome. Well, we're here with head coach Pat Strange. He's going to be coaching the Westfield Starfires, a group of individuals who are wearing the Westfield March for the first time during their inaugural season. You're on the road against the Bristol Blues tomorrow night, and they are home here in Westfield at Bullens Field. That's going to be Friday, May 31st, first pitch at 6.30 against the Pittsfield Suns. You can buy tickets for all 28 home games right now. The link is going to be attached in the description to this video below and also at westfieldstarfires.com. Best of luck this season, Coach. Coach Pat Strange, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me, man. Go Starfires. Go Starfires.